Jesus marcha na minha esquina Say that the name is Jesus And that rules pants are pants Um, I I'm, I don't know the man So I would not want to comment on His life But I definitely feel Their loss You know, um, for me If anybody enters into eternity um, It's just You know, for me a very solemn thing As a as a woman that believes that I'm a child of God, I say precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his saints. Um, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So it's as somebody that's walking by faith and believing that we're Christians, then we have to believe that what the Bible says about death. But watching his friends celebrate his life has really been refreshing you know but i don't know the man um i think i i saw the movie and i don't i really didn't know what it was about i didn't know what the point of it was the only reason i went because it was at my favorite theater i was in atlanta and you can order drinks and food while you eat i know i'm greedy and but I had a good time, but it was the overall experience for me, you know, being able to mingle. It was almost, almost like being at a club without being at a club with no pressure to actually get drunk, but you can actually have a drink. But, um... Yeah, um, I, I really, as far as the movie was concerned, I, I personally, I think I angered a lot of people because it was a lot of talk about it. But I just felt like I could follow the movie. So I, I'm not, not sure what exactly was going on with the movie. But, um... He was a young man, so one thing I can think of is just have to live your life to the fullest. He appeared very fit, um, and he was very brave because he kept his struggle silent. And he seemed to have wonderful people in his close knit circle, so that was very admirable. Um, I just have to just. Personally, I'm struggling with some things myself right now, and it's like 2 a.m. in the morning, so I need to be praying myself since I'm not sleeping, which I'm not sure why I'm not sleeping tonight, but it's always good to stay up all night and pray. Anyway, um, you know, I, I was making some comments about health. But maybe that's just my kick. Maybe that's just my hang up. You know? <laughs> um, I know I got a phone call from the doctor and she was like, you know, your exam, all your tests came back and everything's great. You know what I'm saying? So that's always a good phone call to get. Um, I only thing I can think of um, is have your annual. Have your annual consistency. That's the only thing I can, I can, you know, that's just something I don't understand. Have your annual consistently. Um, treatment for that is very hard, very difficult on all levels financially, you know, emotionally, physically. That's a difficult treatment, but there could be. There could, there could be an aggressive treatment that may, may be able to help. Um, I just recommend that you have your annual um, every every year. That's all I can think of. When you're dealing with something, you know, you don't know. Just, it's more, just have your annual, you know. Um, but, like I said, he seemed very brave. He kept it quiet. Didn't know it. Didn't know it. And 
maybe that's a good thing because I, I feel the need to comment. And if he was terminal already, then wasn't there nothing could have been done? You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't that have been nothing that could have been done? I was watching some people, and I love the food that they did. Love locals. Amazing, amazing people. Amazing people. They're local. And they cooked this meal. And it had not one green vegetable or one piece of fruit or one fresh piece of produce. It's amazing as the food was. They were serving that I love, you know. But I think my mom, you know, she, um, she always had, you know, even though it was just lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers and onions, onion slices, she always had some kind of, you know, green um, on the table. But they, they appear very healthy. Don't get me wrong. The, the family that was eating that meal that didn't have any green on the table, <laughs> they were very slender, very healthy looking. So maybe that's just one meal. Maybe that's not something they have all the time. I know I had me some of them. They had some fried chicken two weeks ago. Um, but it's not something I do all the time. So. So maybe it's not something they do all the time where they have just no green on the table at all. I don't know. One thing that I like is I like a good broccoli salad. It's one of my favorite things if you chop the broccoli up. And you take about one inch pieces, put some tomatoes in it, and I know mayo, probably need a healthy form of mayo, but I love, I love, I love that. It tastes really good. Put some your basic um, spices with a little bit of sugar, just a little bit. Just a little bit, no raisins and all of that foolishness. And that's a very good green uh, dish to have on your table. You know, but um, that, yeah, that, was, that was a surprise thing. Things have happened, especially since he seemed to be so fit. You know what I'm saying? But I guess you need to ask yourself: Do you have health insurance? If you don't have health insurance, go to um healthcare.gov. I just I had a job for <laughs> healthcare for a healthcare company. I mean, uh, not a healthcare company, a health uh, management company. Go to healthcare.gov. And they have some great plan. I'm serious. I'm serious. I know you might the cheapest you might find is probably a hundred dollars a month, and that's gonna be the bare bone. But you get your annual. You will get you get your annual. You get your annual. And you get another a few other little perks with it. You might get a gym membership, which is always good. So I, I recommend that you go to healthcare.gov. Uh, they have some really great plans out there. Some of them are like 400 bucks a month. But if you get the bare bones plan from a good from a good company, you can you still get your annual. If like you get if you get like a hundred dollar plan, I recommend it. I never recommend getting the cheapest plan. I would recommend giving your plan around 180. Um, if you can't afford, you know, the top of the line plan. Some of them plans is just a name. Some of those plans are just a name. Don't fall for the hype. But some of those plans, I would pay. I would at least pay at least 180, 200 bucks. Um, so go to healthcare.gov. And get you a plan started. You, if you, if your job doesn't have a plan, I know I think my job was taking about forty bucks bi-weekly. You don't get no cheaper than that when your job putting some of the bill. 
But if your job doesn't have health insurance, go to healthcare.gov. You probably use a really cheap plan. It's just a bad ball. But you want to you get your annual, you might get a few more other little perks. You know. So that's what I recommend. Go ahead and healthcare.gov. But some people are ready. You know, some people are ready for the go. No, I ain't trying to be dirty. I'm not going to say that. The people, that he was ready to go. I'm not going to say that. It was horrible to say. watching that and I think it's wonderful how people celebrated his life and stuff. I guess it was, the movie was exciting because it was a superhero. I'm not sure why could not follow that movie. I know I don't know what it was about. I have no idea what it was about or what was happening. And the villain threw me all the way out. The villain in the movie threw me all the way out. You know what I'm saying? But everybody was so hyped about it. <laughs> everybody was so hyped about that movie. There was rumors about that movie. Man. And I shouldn't say this after this man died. There was rumors about that movie. That a very wealthy black person was buying tickets. To, to to blow that move up. You know saying if you look at if you look at the the way that was done, that they was taking children on school buses to that movie. They were they was taking children on school buses. I don't know what what people had to gain from doing that. You know what I'm saying? For like blowing up that movie like it was something big. I don't know what somebody had to gain from doing that. You know, I guess they thought. If a lot of people saw it, it would be like something. It would be like, you know, a win an award or something. You know what I'm saying? Second Chronicles 7, but I hope I hope we get some real um, talent and something really amazing happen. I see people trying to do a little something. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's be real. They got this movie. I think I just seen the ad for it. Even though it's been done before, even though it's very predictable, it's still a little refreshing. I forget the name of it though. But um, I ain't seen nothing that's worth a damn. I just see a bunch of people trying to get some money. But I ain't seen nothing out there worth a damn. You know, if I see, I'm gonna tell you. If I see it's a movie worth a damn, I will tell you. Well, the nasty people were a bunch of people trying to get some money. I know that movie I was talking about. I don't want to say the name of that, but I was talking about a Christian movie. And um, I know they had did it. What's that? One Night with the King. I don't. I don't know who did that. I think um, I don't want to lie. I don't know who who did that movie. But just because somebody got the money to do a movie don't mean it should be done. Just because they had the money and the means to do a movie don't mean it should be done. Boy, it was, that was just so full of bullshit ass movie. It was. That movie was so full of bullshit ass shit. You know? First of all, she's very European looking. You know what I'm saying? She's very European looking. I think she should have been a little bit more... You know, um, uh, I, I don't mean, I mean, she's just almost Americanized. That was crazy to me, you know. And then, and then on top of that, um, they romanticized the bullshit. They, they did. It. I'm not trying to say it was romantic. But I thought it was very, it wasn't romantic. It, he was very, um, he was a, a very high stature person. So he was very, 
Uh, I just thought that the way that was done, to me, it was like, in the, when you read that story about the king, um, I don't know his name. I'm going to have to read the book. But it's like he was, they were dancing the waltz, in my opinion. He, he began to almost follow her lead. And then at times he seems to lead the dance. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, um, I think God is just a God of grace and mercy. The Bible says that. She was brought before the king and, and she was very pleasing to him. Do we assume that they had sex? You know what I'm saying? I think something happened for the for her to stay overnight. So do you want to see a sexual exchange? Are we seeing what you think happened? Or are we seeing what we can gather from from the context? You know, are we seeing what we can surmise from the context of what what's what's happening here? You know what I'm saying? Um, and what could she do? Mama said he was pleased with her. What she? What do you think she done? I think she. I think she followed his lead. I think she. I think she sat down quietly. I think they may have had a, a conversation. I think she may have um, been guarded. He may have said something. You know what I'm saying? He may have thought she was going to do something sexual, like start trying to dance or start trying to um, do something very er erotic to turn him on in a, some super way. You know? And I'm sure, and, that, and, that's, and a woman that does that can win the beauty patch. There are women that are erotic, that are turn on that are sexual, you know, but I don't think that's what happened, you know what I'm saying, not in this case, that girl didn't win this time, I think the girl that won was the girl that played the wise, the girl, I think that's the girl that won, the girl that played the wise, and I don't think she I don't think she was aggressive in any way. I think he she followed his lead. And it could be by the time they were done with their exchange, whatever it was, just looking at each other, him talking to her, introducing himself. Maybe she said something about herself. By the time that night was over. He may have only held her in his arms. He may have only held her in his arms. And what do we see happening? Why do you say he may only held her? Imagine a pageant where all the women are coming in and they're sucking their dick and they're dancing and they're they're doing their legs behind their head and they're doing all kind of stuff that their mama told them to do, you know, sexually. You know what I'm saying? He he may not have wanted to do nothing at all, but to find out what a queen who he wants to put on the throne, and she may have exhibited every bit of royalty. She may have exhibited every bit of royalty that he needed. And nothing, and had not had to do nothing sexual at all. And I'm not saying nothing sexual happened. The Bible doesn't say it did or didn't. The Bible said that he was pleased with her above all other women. So the Bible said nothing did or didn't happen. We don't know that. Um, and I guess we can get somebody who can, you know, take that to win their creativity. But I, but when I saw that movie that they did, they had him following behind her. Like. 
he was entranced by her beauty. They had him walk by, you know, just looking at all that old. That's not saying that's not real. The Bible say Isaac was sporting with Rebecca. So we can see, we can see that. What I mean, he was outside the window, probably spinning her around. You know what I'm saying? Following her, telling her jokes, making her laugh. You know, running around the courtyard. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what they were doing? We see that with Isaac and Rebecca, but we don't see that with the king. We see this very dignified, very high-ranking, very powerful king. And this woman, her her job is to please the king. So we don't see no nothing romantic happening here. So I just thought that was stupid the way they did it. But, but they did what they knew how to do. They did what they knew how to do. But for me, a starting point would be to read it and 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 read it and, read it and just gather everything I can. What's the, what is the time? Uh, what is the the the, uh, the time, the culture, you know, the people, the the um, the architecture, the 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 culture, the the you know what I'm saying? Can women speak, or do they have to be silent? Of course, we want their rights. We want they. I can say what I want. I want my rights. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the one that stands out. No, no, no. What is the culture of the day? Do do wealthy women have ways? Can a wealthy woman talk and, and less wealthy women? Can older women talk and young women have to be quiet? What is the culture of the day? What is happening here? What is what is happening here? You know what I'm saying? We see a very fascinating exchange. With how can we develop her personality? How can we develop her personality to show how they may have talked and what it was about her that fascinated them? You know what I'm saying? So I I think I think the way I think the way to make that movie great was it now as far as the Panther, which is what we were talking about. Um. I had, I don't even know what it was about. I don't know what the what it, what it was saying, what, what the premise was. I had no, I don't even understand what it was saying. I don't know if it was African or American. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was some kind of myth or fairy tale, or Disney movie, or a Disney movie or something, <laughs> or a fictitious account based on real events. I have no, I don't even know what the hell it was about. But it was a good try. It was a good try at some somebody trying to to do something. Hope the next try is better. Hope the next try is better. I really wasn't feeling I don't know what it was about. I really couldn't follow it. I really couldn't follow it. It was like watching American Games. Here we have this very intriguing man become very wealthy, but we lose it all because he's committing crimes, becoming very wealthy. And as and as smart and brilliant and fearless as he was, and cold blooded as he was, he still played the fool. He still played the fool. He still played the fool. And that's how, that's what I'm wondering what the hell what the hell the movie trying to say because I I'm, I'm really not following I'm really not following the movie and but um I heard a rumor that the movie was hyped up that that there was uh, a a wealthy billionaire paying for tickets and sending them to schools and they, they was busting kids. From every school, I know, I know, I know every school we here went on a bus. I kid you not. Every school here took kids see that move for real. Some, some of them twice. Some of them went twice. But I still don't know what the the point of that was to be. I don't. I don't know what the point of that was. But anyway, forgive me. I don't want to make nobody look bad, especially at a solemn time like this. When people are celebrating their life, I don't want to, you know, 
say nothing evil about nobody. So if I offend anybody, I apologize. So anyway, I hope everyone is getting ready to go to sleep. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go step and pray. That's all I think I'm going to do. I'm going to stay awake and pray.